It's Weekend Update with Colin Jost and Michael Che. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Weekend Update. I'm Michael Che. I'm Colin Jost. Well, at last year's finale, it seemed like COVID was fading, and I said we were about to have the horniest summer ever. <laughs> and now, summer's hottest STD is monkeypox. <laughs> That's how weird and bad things have gotten. The stock market is crashing, there's a war in Europe, everyone on This Is Us is about to croak. The future is looking pretty bleak. I mean, you'd have to be crazy to bring a child into the world right now. I mean, I just did, but don't worry, I've been hoarding baby formula. A recent report shows that Fox News host Tucker Carlson, seen here bragging about how big it is, <laughs> has repeatedly pushed the theory that Democrats want to replace white people with minorities. But that doesn't even make sense, because white people still exist. It's not like they suddenly turn into minorities, unless it's Halloween. <laughs> Dr. Carlson's got a lot of nerve pushing these wild conspiracy theories, because if he thinks the government has a secret plot to help minorities, well, he must be smoking that crack the CIA secretly put in black neighborhoods. <laughs> Representative Liz Cheney attacked the House GOP leadership, saying they've enabled white supremacy and anti-Semitism. House leadership rejected Cheney's attacks, calling them cheaper than a black rabbi. <laughs> Right-wing right -wing election denier Doug Mastriano, whose face appears to be photoshopped onto a hot dog, <laughs> won the Pennsylvania Republican primary for governor and said if he's elected, he would be so far to the right, he would make Ron DeSantis look like a centrist, instead of what DeSantis looks like now, my dad watching me in the school musical. <laughs> Elon Musk defended himself from allegations that he reportedly exposed himself to a flight attendant on his private jet saying, quote, if I were inclined to engage in sexual harassment, this is unlikely to be the first time in my entire 30-year career that it comes to light. Ooh, sorry, we were looking for a simple did not do it. The answer was did not do it. <laughs> Republicans in Georgia are concerned that Donald Trump has endorsed candidates in the primaries who aren't qualified. For instance, his pick for attorney general is literally 90s action star Steven Seagal. <laughs> now, that's not true, but what does it say about Trump that you didn't doubt it for a second? <laughs> Rich parents across the country are reportedly stocking up on black market baby formula, which I assume is formula that was supposed to go to black markets. <laughs> Taylor Swift gave a commencement address at NYU's graduation ceremony this week because college is a lot like breaking up with Taylor Swift. You're still going to be paying for it decades later. <laughs> Former President Trump announced that he is writing a book about alleged voter fraud in the presidential election. The book will contain 8,000 commas and no periods. 